Splicing refers to the analog equivalent of the kind of digital editing we routinely do nowadays with regions and clips in our DAWs. You may occasionally hear veteran engineers and producers use the term when describing an edit being made in the DAW's edit or arrange area. Back in the heyday of analog recording, when analog tape was the standard medium, it wasn't as simple to cut up and rearrange sections of a recording as it is now, but of course it was still possible, and done on a regular basis. In fact, one of the things that separated professional engineers from novices was their ability to reliably cut and splice analog tape. You had to get it right the first time, so it was a critical skill. The process was done with the aid of a splicing block, which held the tape in place and provided a channel for the razor blade used to perform the edit. When the pieces of edited tape were ready to be joined, or spliced together, specialized splicing tape was utilized. To avoid hearing clicks at the edit points, cuts were made at an angle, kind of the equivalent of the use of crossfades in digital editing. To locate the exact spot where a cut needed to be made, the engineer would have to scrub the tape manually, listening to the audio at the resulting slow speed to find the spot. This was done by rocking the reels, moving them by hand while the tape was in contact with the playback head. Engineers got accustomed to listening for the characteristic thump of a transient, and then would make the cut there, at the leading edge of the wave. Some DAWs continue to include a scrub feature for those situations when it might still come in handy. 